Well, hello everyone, Lock Gardening Bird Lady here coming to you guys with a quick video. And in this video here, I want to show you a gardening fail. Sometimes people think because you are master gardeners that you don't, you succeed in everything that you plant in the garden. But I just want to show you that even though, even being a master gardener, you're still gonna have some gardening fails because there's some things that you just cannot control. You cannot control the weather. That's one thing that we cannot do. We cannot control the weather unless we have um, our, what do you call it? Our plants in a greenhouse or something. So that's the only way you can control the weather, but outside you cannot control the weather. So I wanna show you my gardening field that I had. I was very disappointed. And sometimes gardening fields, especially this time of year and the climate that I live in, gardening fields are inevitable. It's just going to happen. And I hate that it happened with my lovely, lovely cauliflower. As you can see, all of my cauliflower here is gone it is gone and when you see things like this on your cauliflower sometimes it can be a boron um boron deficiency in your soil but this happens when um the weather is really inconsistent as well and so that's what happened here um it's like some days the weather get down to the 20s and then the next day it'll be up in the 65s and the 70s so it's just like if you freeze something and then you thaw it out and you freeze something and then you thaw it out and you freeze something and then you thaw it out well you get the point so that's what happened here with my cauliflower so with the inconsistencies in the temperature the cauliflower it just couldn't take it as you can see my kale is doing very well the inconsistencies, inconsistencies in the temperature isn't hurting my kale, nor is it hurting my broccoli. As you can see, those broccoli heads are getting really, really huge. Um, here's another really big one. I'll probably harvest this one today. The only problem that I'm having with the um, broccoli is, I don't know if you can see it here. I can't even see it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Let me put my finger there so you can see it. Okay, it's the cabbage loopers. That's the only problem and it's not a major problem. Gonna show you guys, what I do is just, I'm not gonna show you on camera. What I do is just take my thumb and I mash them. Um, that's to keep from wasting my BT. But that's really the only problem that my broccoli is having. Everything else is doing pretty well. And I'm sorry about the focusing. Caitlin keeps running back and forth and is throwing my focus off. You see my cabbage patch is doing really, really well. Those rutabagas back there, they were killed. Um, got some turnips over here. I pulled up a couple of turnips just to see how well they were doing. And the root is um, coming in really good. We just harvested, my husband harvested some collards Christmas. And we're just waiting on more to come back. Mustard greens are on their last leg here. So, yeah, even though... Uh, you are certified, you're licensed, you went, went to school for this stuff. Gardening fails are inevitable. So do not question yourself. Do not think that you did anything wrong. Situations like this are just going to happen. You cannot control the temperature inconsistencies. So that's why that happens. There's two reasons that it's brown like this. It can be a boron deficiency or it can actually be... Um, inconsistencies in the weather and this situation here is inconsistencies in the weather all right guys so that's it i'm just gonna pull these up and just prepare the soil for the winter i mean for the spring thank you so much for watching bye bye